What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at how to multiply a four digit number by a two digit number. So let's begin. Okay, so the example we're looking at is 3,465 multiplied by 23. And if we just look at our steps to success, the first thing we need to do is make sure we arrange our columns and make sure we put our titles on top of those columns so that we don't put a number in the wrong place. Then we're gonna partition the question. We'll understand what that means in a minute. Then start with the smallest value on the bottom row and work our way up. And finally, we're gonna add it all back together to get our final answer. So let's think about how to set this question out. We have 3,465 times 23. So I'm gonna to need to put my place value labels on the top. So I'm gonna have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And then I can start to put my numbers in place. And I can put 3,465 and then my 23. I can see I've got two tens and three ones. Put my equals line, my multiplication sign, and I'm ready to begin. Let's tidy it up. There we go. The next step said to partition my question, and we're gonna partition specifically this bottom row. And we're gonna look at it as a three and a 20. So this row here is gonna be answering the question three times 3,465. And then the second row is gonna be answering the question 20 times 3,465. So let's work on our first row first of all, multiplying three times 3,465. But again, we're gonna do it in small chunks. Our first chunk is gonna be three times five. Three times five is 15, but uh-oh, I can't put 15 all in one column like that. Because remember, one column, one number. So what can I do? Well, I can put my five in here, because we have five ones, but then my 10, I'm gonna hold a small one here, ready for when I answer the tens column, which I'm gonna do now. Then I can do three times six. Three times six is 18, plus my one is 19, but the same rule applies, so I can put my nine in here and carry my one across. Top tip, scrub out that one that we've just used so that we don't add it up by mistake later. Now I can do my hundreds column, which is three times four, and three times four is 12, plus my one, 13. Same thing again, small one, big three, screw out the one. Now lastly, I can do three times three for my thousands column, and three times three is nine, plus the one is 10. Nowhere else to go, so I can just write my 10 in into the next column, which would be my 10 thousands. Get rid of that little one, because we've used it. So the answer to three times 3,465 is 10,395. Now I'm ready to look at my next row, which is 20 times 3,465. But I want to just look at this two as a two. It's very difficult to think about multiplying by 20 every time. So how can I do that? Well, if I put a zero here, I am making everything in this row 10 times larger, which means I can then just think of this two as a two instead of a 20. So we call this little zero a placeholder. Now I don't need to think about multiplying it by 20, I can just multiply it by two. Two times five is 10, same rules. Next I can do two times six, which is 12, plus my one equals 13. Get rid of the one. Now I can do two times four. Two times four is eight, plus my one is nine. Get rid of the one. And lastly, two times three is six. So the answer to 20 times 3,460 is 69,300. Now I've answered my two individual lines, I've answered all my partition sections, now I need to smash it back together to get my final answer. So I can put my equals line, put an add sign, and here I go. Five plus zero is five, nine plus zero is nine, three plus three is six, zero plus nine is nine, one and six is seven. So there we have it, 3,465 times 23 is 79,695. Let's just think about things to remember for this. Always put your ones, ten, hundreds, and thousands at the top of your place value chart so that you don't put numbers in the wrong place. Partition the question of the numbers into the little parts and write out those little questions on the side. That will really help you. Don't forget your placeholder. This little placeholder here is super important. If we forget it, it means that we're gonna have a very different answer. And finally, once we've done the partition sections, add it all back together to get our final answer and get our tick. So now it's your turn. 
Two questions here for you. Have a go at answering them and put your answers into the comment section. I'm going to try and mark every single one. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. OK, and there we have it. That was multiplying a four-digit number by a two-digit number. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully you've got it now. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There are going to be daily videos like this. And for now, peace out.